Hi, my name is Elena and I'm from Seattle. Please like and subscribe. I was born to a single mom who used to travel from one place to another, entertaining people on the streets. And after I was born, I became part of her gang too. She'd wrap herself in bandages and dress me up in shabby clothes, and then we'd go out and put on little acts in front of people. I'd feel weird about this, but seeing mom's face light up after getting the money from people would make me happy too. Oh, honey, ever since you've come into my life, I've been bathing in riches. You're so lucky for me. Mom adored me and often took me to parks and picnics, and we'd put on our little acts there too. Our life was perfect, but there was one issue. I couldn't speak. No matter how hard I tried, not even a single word would come out of my mouth, and it really upset me. Honey, you're gonna be fine. We love you just the way you are. But when I was seven, I discovered something really shocking. Like always, mom asked me to put on an act and faint in front of an approaching bicycle one evening. But surprisingly, the man went all bonkers on us. Get the kid out of my way, you morons. OMG, what have you done to my daughter? I know people like you, frauds. You rob innocent people like this, but I'm not gonna fall for your act. Suddenly, a crowd gathered and mom broke into tears and I couldn't keep still. I got up and hugged her. Look, she's totally fine. Huh? So you want my mute daughter to die now? You heartless jerk. But the fight just got worse, and in all that chaos, I somehow let out a loud scream. Stop! Everyone turned to me. They are frauds. The girl's not mute. Catch them. Mom grabbed me and we ran from there. But when we reached our van, she looked at me suspiciously. Why didn't you tell me you could talk? I'm the one who tricks people, but you've been tricking me this whole time? She did what? I had so many questions, but again, I couldn't speak. Later, she took me to a doctor and we discovered that I was just a late speaker. And with practice, I could speak like the other kids. But my happiness was incomplete because now I knew the reality. My mom was a con artist who made fools out of people and took money from them. Come on, baby. We're getting late, and this time make sure you don't shout or scream. You're a good girl, right? No, and I'm not going anywhere. What? Why? You liar. Bad. How can you say that, honey? I had no means to raise you. That's why I got into this business, and now you're saying I'm bad? Do you know, if I stop doing this, you're going to have to give up on so many things. All your favorite foods and trips. Can you do that? Well, maybe she really had no option, but I knew that this was wrong and I refused to be a part of it anymore. I told her to stop with the stupid acts and get me into school or I'd go to the police. So we shifted to Seattle and there, mom got me enrolled in a public school. I made tons of friends and I was the happiest there. But then in the seventh grade, things took a wild turn. A woman named Mrs. Miller came knocking on the door and claimed that she was my birth mom. That's rubbish. She's my daughter. The woman told us that she discovered some years back that I got exchanged at birth, and ever since then, she'd been looking for me. I don't believe you. You look like some fraud to me. And believe me when I say I can smell them. Mom! I know it's hard to trust me, but I'm sure you're my daughter, Elena. Please, give me a chance to prove it. But mom pushed her out, and I felt really uneasy about this. What if she was actually telling the truth? And then a few days later, the unthinkable happened. Cops came to our house and arrested my mom. Wait, what are you doing? My mom's innocent. But the cops showed me CCTV footage, and it turned out mom had robbed a bank this time. And now she was going to serve time in jail. As a result, I was sent to a foster home, and it broke my heart. It was worse than prison, and I was ready to run out of there. But then Mrs. Miller came to see me there one day. Oh, Elena, I saw everything that's happened on the news, and I didn't want to leave you alone, dear. She tried hugging me, but I pushed her away. My own mom lied to me. I wasn't going to trust some stranger now. I know you can't trust me, but I don't want you to live in such a place when your mom can take care of you, and I will get you the proof you need. Mrs. Miller kept persisting, so I agreed to get a DNA test, and just like she'd said, the results were a match and she was indeed my birth mom. I was super shocked by this revelation, and moving in with her seemed so much better than rotting in this filthy place. 
So I agreed, and she took me to a palace-like house. My birth mom was freaking rich. This is gonna be your home now, sweetie, but I need you to promise me something. The girl who was switched with you, Stella, I haven't told her about any of this yet. I've loved her like my own child, and I want more time to speak with her about this, okay? I promise not to say a word about it, but as we entered, a cute little boy bumped into me and we both fell on our butts flat. Ouch, that hurt. Hey, are you okay? I helped him up and Mrs. Miller told me that he was my younger brother, Jeremy. And indeed, we looked so much alike, but he seemed really shy and ran away. Later during dinner, Mrs. Miller introduced me to Stella, a distant relative? But how come I've never heard about her mom? Because she lived very far away, honey. But now, Elena's gonna stay with us for a while, and I want you guys to be good to her, okay? Don't worry, I'm gonna take good care of her, and we're gonna be like besties. Stella seemed like a very nice girl. She showed me around the house and even let me borrow some of her gorgeous dresses. I'm having a sleepover tonight with my friends, and we're gonna have so much fun. And she was right, it was a blast. Everyone loved me and kept complimenting me. Your cousin is amazing, Stella. You should invite her to all our sleepovers. And I guess we won't even miss you because she's so much more fun. <laughs> Gosh, these girls were so funny and crazy. They asked me some questions about my family and I came up with some random lies. But Stella looked a bit suspicious. The next few days were amazing. Mrs. Miller would take me out shopping and we'd have so much fun getting to know each other. She even took me to her workplace and I got this proud feeling knowing that she was a top lawyer in a huge firm. And soon, I wanted to be just like her. But that night when I was asleep, I heard some strange noise in my room and I saw someone going through my stuff. It was Stella. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I was just checking up on you. Go back to sleep. Saying that, she rushed out of the room, but I felt really uneasy and I couldn't sleep after that, so I went downstairs to the kitchen for water. And there, I found Jeremy hiding behind the kitchen counter, binging on ice cream and cookies. Caught you. No, please don't tell anyone I was here. I swear, I didn't eat anything. Hey, it's okay. I'm not telling anyone. Relax. After he calmed down, I asked him what was wrong. I... I binge eat when I'm nervous about anything. What are you nervous about, Jeremy? I always fail all my subjects and all my friends make fun of me. And we have tests coming up. It's freaking me out. What if I helped you with your studies? Really? Yeah. And we can teach those nasty kids a lesson so they won't ever pick on you ever again. You're so amazing, sis. Saying that, he hugged me tight, and after that, I'd spend all my evenings teaching Jeremy in his room. Over time, I discovered that we had so much in common and we bonded so well together. I'm so happy to see you guys getting along, Elena. Yeah, I've been helping him study, but I guess he's too exhausted for the day, so I'll go now. I was leaving the room, but just then, Mrs. Miller took my hand gently. It's a good thing that I never gave up on looking for you. I'm so glad you're here, my daughter. I'm glad too, Mom. When I said Mom, her eyes lit up and she hugged me tight. Then a week later, I started school, and all of Stella's friends were so happy to see me there. Who's the gorgeous girl, Stella? Why don't you introduce us? Well, I'm not sure either. Why don't you go ask her? Saying that, she ignored me and went away with her friends. But I didn't like her being this way with me. So later that night, I went to ask her. Hey, what's the matter? You've been acting weird lately. Yeah? That's because I know something's up. And you and mom are both lying to us. Oh, really? Is that why you were going through my stuff the other day? Don't act, Elena. Nothing you say ever matches up. And it's been so many days and no family member ever calls you. What are you hiding? I knew she'd figure out something was up sooner or later. But I couldn't tell her anything now. So I just left. Soon it was our birthday and mom decided to throw a huge party for both of us. And I got a really awesome gift for Stella to make things up with her again. Hey, you look so pretty. I got this for you and I'm sure you're gonna love it. She opened the box and her eyes lit up. I've got something even better for you that's gonna blow your mind. I wasn't quite sure what she meant till something terrible happened at the party. While everyone was enjoying themselves, Stella got onto the stage and grabbed the mic. Hey everyone, as you all know, it's my birthday, but it's also Elena's birthday. And I've got a great surprise for her. But before that, you should all know who Elena is. Saying that, a slideshow opened on a screen behind her and it had pictures of my mom 
and all the news about her being a con artist and a robber. That's Elena's mom, and Elena's a fraud, just like her. Stella, stop this nonsense at once. Oh, this ain't nonsense, Mom. This is the truth. And now I want to know why you brought this street rat here and hid it from me. You're such a horrible person, Stella. Oh, do you want to cry like a little baby? Stop it. Don't hurt her. She isn't the con woman's daughter. You are. Suddenly, a loud silence swept across the room. Have you lost it, Jeremy? What are you talking about? Stop hurting Elena. She's my real sister. No, Jeremy, stop. Stella looked at Mom with questioning eyes. What? What is Jeremy saying? Mom? Mom remained silent, and the look on Stella's face changed, and she ran to her room. After that, Mom asked all the guests to leave. Jeremy, how did you know this? Once, I heard you talking on the phone about how you were looking for your daughter who got exchanged. And that night, when you came into my room, I wasn't sleeping, and I heard Elena was my real sister. Oh, Jeremy... But you shouldn't have said this in front of everyone. You were crying, and Stella was hurting you, so... I immediately went up to Stella's room, but she wouldn't let anyone in. Even Mom tried talking to her, but she didn't come out of her room for a few hours, and I decided to break in through the window. But when I got there, I saw she was lying unconscious on the floor. We immediately rushed her to the hospital, and the doctor said she was alright, but she just passed out because of shock. Later that night, when she gained consciousness, I was right next to her. What are you doing? Get away from me. Stella, calm down. I know it's a big shock for you, and I can understand how you feel, but please listen to me. I don't want to hear anything, Elena. I hate you. I'm going to lose all my family and my home because of you. You're not losing anything, okay? Mom's loved you for so long and brought you up like her own daughter. How can you even think that she'd replace you? Elena's right, Stella. You're my daughter and my family, and you're always going to stay here with us. But Elena's your real daughter. Isn't that why you brought her here? And now even Jeremy loves her more than me. She is my daughter, but so are you. I love you both equally. Yeah, I love you both equally too. I'm sorry for what I did. So, you promise you're never going to let me go and I'll always be important to you? I promise, honey. Suddenly, she pulled mom in for a tight hug and I joined too. You guys, I'm here too. Come on then, what are you waiting for? 